Five degrees, wind chill is 22. Yeah, so I'm gonna try and go enjoy this uh, brisk December um, weather here in Pennsylvania. So yeah, it's uh, it's pretty chilly, but uh, I'm gonna get down here and I'm gonna go hit my tree stand up, and check that out, and see if anything moves through. Got two doe tags left, and I'm gonna try and film. Um, get everything butchered up and then head home. So that's the plan. We'll see how that plan works out. But uh, yeah, it's brisk. And I'm gonna go get my stuff on and get down in there. I'll see you guys down there. So you can hear the turkeys. And I was I didn't spook anything on the way in. I haven't heard anything. But we're only 13 minutes into shooting the light here. It's just me and the turkeys hanging out. Birds are starting to come awake. I'm sure the squirrels will be next. So that's where we sit here this morning. Oh, I saw the geese. Beautiful morning out here. It's just cold. A little, a little bit of breeze. Yeah. Hopefully we get a doe walking by soon. Well, I sat this morning. Yeah, wasn't much to really report on. It was pretty quiet other than those turkeys. So they're back out in the field while well, they were. I ran to the store after lunch and uh, they were came back and they were down in the field, um, basically right behind where I would have been sitting down there. But uh, yeah, uh, nothing going on. Hoping something would be moving this morning. Dad didn't see anything either. He was out this morning for a little bit, but a uh, whole lot of nothing. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna head down in the wagon, see if they come back out tonight. So no hunting yesterday. So if it was nice and quiet for him, and uh, I'm gonna get out here tonight. And I got two doe tags burning holes in my pocket, and I'm gonna see if I uh, can get a doe tonight. 
Yeah, but we can get a couple tonight. I think Dad's going to go out in the other side, other field tonight. So we'll see what happens. But uh, got that buck all taken care of and in the cooler, ready to go back to my place and go in my freezer. So, yeah, pretty grateful. It was pretty rewarding being able to get that guy and looking forward to many, many, many meals. So, a lot of good meat, quality meat on that guy. So, at any rate, I'm going to go get my gear on. It's cold, hasn't even hit 40 degrees yet today. So I'll put my warm stuff on and head on down there and set up and hopefully here in an hour or two I'll be getting the next one ready for the for the freezer. That's the hope at least. So I'll see you out there. Well, got set up out here. Walked down through the field kind of out wide just to take a look and uh, <clears throat> yeah there's been plenty of deer out in that field looks like cow pasture there's so much droppings out there but uh, yeah it's uh, almost three so we got a couple hours or so shooting light and uh, I'll uh, Sit here and take a look. It's a little dreary. It's windy. Man, it's windy. At least the wind's blowing across my front and down over that way, which is perfect because the deer will be coming from down in front of me here. So I got a good wind. Got a good wind. Um, buzzards are out cruising. The thermals that come up off this off the river here. These big winds like this, I like to get out and just cruise, cruise on the thermals. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna give this a, a couple hours. I guess about well, maybe about just over two hours. Shooting light left tonight, so be nice to seal the deal. That's kind of what I'm hoping. But uh, I got my comfy stuff on. I got my Big bibs and a parka that wife got me a bunch of years ago. Good uh, late season sitting in the sitting still stuff. A little bulky and warm for walking around. I warmed up a little bit just walking around the field out here. I didn't go far, <laughs> but it'll be good for sitting here tonight. Yeah, that's the one problem having this stuff. It's just, it's bulky. Yeah, it's a a little bit of pain in the neck to pack in, so. Anyway, let's sit here and enjoy, enjoy the view. It's chilly and windy, but it's still beautiful being out here. I'm still, I'd rather be sitting here doing this, bundled up, than sitting on a couch. Not my, not my thing. Heck, I'd come out here and just lay in the field. <laughs> I like being out, moving around, checking things out. That is one thing about whitetail hunting. I grew up doing it, so it's a little different. I mean, Chris, he has a hard time sitting for like like this. I can appreciate that. I always had a hard time, even as a kid. I like being up moving, looking around and stuff. But sometimes it's just nice to sit and listen when you're moving. You're making noise, and you can't really listen real well. I always like to just kind of walk around and stop, sit for a while, and listen. I've seen a lot of cool things and heard a lot of cool things and done a lot of cool things in the outdoors over the years. And grew up in the outdoors and still doing it. I'm going to do it until I can't do it anymore. And even then, it'll be hard not to do it. I'll give this a couple hours and see what happens. Hopefully, in about an hour. We get some movement. It'll be ideal. See you then. Well, it's a little after four. Got about an hour of shooting light left. It's starting to get pretty dark. No, 
Most of it's overcast, it's not dark, but I'm starting to lose some light. But uh, it's prime time now. Hopefully, they pop out here soon. I just shot a, a doe, just ran over here. I'm gonna go see if I can find her. The other two, that spike in that other doe that were out there just hung out. Weird. So, let me go see what's going on here. I think there's another doe deer over here. Well, let's go see. Well, I backed out. Um, I can't find blood, I don't. I can't, I'm not sure where she went in. I got to, I'm gonna back out and just review the footage. It's super dark, so I don't know how well I'll be able to see the footage, but uh, I'm gonna get some dinner and then uh, head back out here. I, I think I know where she may have gone in, and I'm hoping, and I, I know I hit her. At least, and at least I'm pretty sure I did. I don't know. So, but I'm pretty sure I did. The way she kicked, the way she ran, it's almost like I hit her right in the heart. This is where I was aiming, you know, 100 yards. So I'm pretty sure it's, I mean, she should be down right there, but uh, I just I can't find blood. Fortunately, it's like, in the, it's already in the high 30s and it's dropping down in the 20s tonight. It's worried about scavengers, you know, getting on her. But I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go take one last look. I, I don't, I don't like, uh, I'm gonna be eating, eating away at it all night if, yeah, it is what it is. I don't like it, but I thought for sure she'd drop. It looked like she was going to drop, and then she just kept running. And I don't know. And then it, gets, it was right at last light, so it just got dark so quick that I just couldn't um, couldn't see where she went. And then, uh, and like I said, I couldn't find black. I can't find the exact spot she was standing either, which isn't helping. But I thought I could. I thought I had the right spot where she went in, but I don't see blood. I'm checking all the trails all along that tree line. 
So, but it's windy and cold. I'm gonna go give it a shot, see what I can find, and if not, I'll just come back out here in the morning and see what I find. So, I'll find her. She's probably just laying right there in the trees. I can't imagine she's gone too far. So, let's see. Well, we found her. <laughs> I looked here, I don't know, a couple times. She's like, and there's the edge of the edge of the fields right there, and I uh, <laughs> I looked right here. I, 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 no blood. There's no blood coming into the no blood coming into the uh, into the tree line. So I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. But uh, I looked here too. But I grabbed a high-powered flashlight thing. From my dad when he's a uh, heavy-duty cobalt flashlights and uh um looked in I well there's a beer deer a beer there was a deer bedded in the field just on the other side outside the tree line here and uh I waited for it I didn't want to run it so I just kinda sat there while the deer kinda looked at me and I looked at it and then it went into the woods here and then disappeared and then I got down here and looked in this spot because I went and looked at the footage and it looked like it's, it's really hard to see because it's so dark it's fuzzy and grainy because of the light it's so bad but uh I knew I hit her just the way she bucked and ran but I could see there was like a big gray thing on the edge of the tree line which would be a tree so I just looked for the big tree and went in and shone the light one pass with the light and yep there she was so let's go get her